Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js and the React. Today we are going to learn about how to do the payment integration of the Razor Pay using the Node.js and the React. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first I will give you the demo, then we will go to the next step that is revising the code. Okay, so this is my React page. Let's click on the Pay with Razor. Okay, sit open the sandbox account now and there is a one rupees payment so i will use any of the net banking wallet card pay later or something i will use upi okay so i will add the upi okay so any of the my upi let's check this okay pay now so there's a one rupee payment payment successful Okay, and this is the UPI ID and it's redirecting okay to the local to the local host part. Okay, here you can see if I go to my dashboard, okay. So here we go from transactions, and here I will go and just check the transactions currently. This is the UPI, this is the customer detail and authorized. Okay, let's go to the details. Right, so here you can see that we have a payment ID, UPI, and everything come over here, okay. So if you want to do the refund, you can also do, do the refund part also. Okay. So this is how the payment part is done and the Razor Pay integration is done, right? Let's dive into the code level, how we are going to do that. Currently, you can see that I am not S mode. Okay. So let's go first Node.js code. Okay. So we require express Razor Pay codes. Codes is basically for the assessing the route of the Node.js and okay. So we can use the route of that one. Otherwise, if you're not using the course, that, that will not work. So course install Razor Pay and the Express. Then we are using the Razor Pay object over here. That is key ID and the secret. So how to get the key ID and the secret? You have to go to your Razor Pay dashboard account. Go to your account and settings. Here you can see that the API keys. If you want to regenerate the test key, then you will regenerate it or create the new one and after creating that one you will get the key id and the secret download that key and secret in the csv format then copy and paste and use it over here okay then we have an api that is called create order which expects the parameter that is amount amount should be always pesa so if you are doing the payment of the one rupee then it should be a 100 pesa okay five rupees then 500 pesa so it deals with the because the transaction is in inr Okay, and the receipt, this is the order ID. Okay, so here we have Razor Pay orders dot create. So we are going to create the order ID right from this one and we are sending the amount, which amount I'm going to send to the front end to accept the payments. Okay, this is basically the server.js file, payments files to have an API create order. Let's dive into the React JS code. React code. Okay, so here we go with this one. So this is the app.js file. Okay, so make sure you have to create the utils file also. So first create the utils so a new promise so here we have a script so we, we have to integrate the script part okay and append the script over here okay this is because uh, here you can see this is the script i want to uh, add this script while doing the payment so so that uh, the payment pop-up will come up okay so we use react use state and the use effect from the react and the load script from the utils implement the functionality so here we have this one right Moving to the next part, so these are the payment component, order ID, razor pay ID. Okay, so first use effect, we are going to load the script. This one, the razor pay script over here, the checkout JS. Okay, so initially we have to load the script, right? When I click on the button that is create with pay. So here we have the on click pay, so pay with razor pay. When I click on the handle pay, we have to create the create hit the API that is create order. Okay, so it will give you the order ID, right? So in the data, we get the amount, we get the currency, we get the ID, right? So let's uh, order ID, right? So put all this information over here. And this is the key ID that you have to get it from the Razor Pay. Okay. After that is the description. This is the image. So you can see that your company name, your description, everything is locked into the details part. If I go to the transactions and here we have the transaction part, right? So here you can add your company name and everything is coming over here. So you can, if you want app ID, anything, you can just add it over here, your company address and everything. Because when I do the capture, if I go and just check this one, if I go with the Razor Pay capture, and here you can see that your company name is coming over here, 
okay so if you want to change this you have to change it from here your company name and tra transaction description you want to add and the logo you want to add okay so now we have a handler that is response dot razor pay id and this one for this uh, if you want me to just add the handle and the success url if you want to save the data also just do let me know i will post a new video on that one so currently doing the payment with this one so this is the prefill i want to prefill the information with my name email and the contact so you can have to add this one notes your company address you want to add and the theme color if you want to choose you can add it over here okay after this new window raza pay with the options will open raza pay dot open will open the new window like this okay with the color whatever color schema you want to add you can add okay and then we have the return state return part where we are clicking the pay with raza and the this component is done after doing all of this you are able to do the transaction with the raza pay integration with the raza pay okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment sections thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day